Hello. How are you doing? Thank you for coming back, you brave souls that keep doing so. Look at that moon. Moving really fast and being awfully close. That's like two or three times the diameter as seen from modern times. So I wonder what disaster occurred. Uh, but then again, if it were that that much closer, it would also make that more sense that it was moving that much faster. Physics! Physics, physics, physics in medieval times, I'm telling you. Uh, speaking of which, thermodynamics. I am about to go indoors. Yeah. I am about to do this thing. And it's about to be a whole new season tomorrow. Just like that, with the snap of the... Whoa! A traveling merchant. Ah, let's see. A traveling merchant is visiting your settlement. He presents to you his wares, telling stories about faraway lands he saw. Also, he says that he can teach you a few tricks to get better deals for a price of course. I can afford to do none of the things that he would like. 10-10? Oh, I have to be 10-10 for this to work. 0 to 9. I don't have enough coin. That's too bad. Oh, well. Sorry. You don't need a lesson right now. Now I feel sad. However, <coughs> excuse me. Holy cow, geez. Oh, it looks so gray outdoors. So let's take a look at the snow. All righty then. Cool beans, I guess. I... Whoa. Just one shocker after another. Let's take a look at this. Whoa. Ah, okay. Uh, skills is... I have, oh, right here. Two points, cool. All right. Strong as an oak. 10, 20% more health if I do that. Otherwise, survivalist is full, headstrong. Ugh, I don't, I'm not gonna drink alcohol. So whatever. Water dancer, cool. Athlete. Solid as a rock, damage received. Insensitive, Oh. Going into winter, that sounds like a good idea. So let's do that. And you know what? Uh, since I run around a lot... Wait a minute, survival sense. Inspector mode. Now, inspector mode is not something I have any experience with or know how to activate. I'll have to look that up. Mushrooms, feathers, and oibs. And well, guess what? You know, it's uh, not really a thing right now. I can't really do that. Let's just do the... Actually, let's just become more insensitive um see if i do not need this torch to stay warm all righty then so i think i do need warmer clothes than i have got and i do believe there is a seamstress in hornica i don't think there's one in gustovia but there may be one in bottle wall however there are two quests here so let's go that way follow our glorious figment, our magical icon. Wait, are you a wolf or a... You're a bobcat. You just looked bigger than you really are. Hi. Hi. No, no, no. Come back, cat. Come on. Hey. Come on. Oh, fast little bastard. Okay. Anyway. Snow. Not my favorite thing, though that is... What's going on here? Oh, I was crouching? Uh, having grown up in man and spent a little bit of time in upstate New York as well uh, against my wishes. Um, snow is a thing in these places. A lot of it. Um, though, oddly enough, in the early 90s when I was uh, in high school, just to date myself? Ha ha ha. Hold on. Uh, what am I saying? Oh. <sighs> right, what was I saying? Um, it did not snow any of the four years I was in high school until after the year turned over and it was January. And then it just, the sky fell. And we'd end up buried. I mean, it would make this look paltry. It looks nice, though. Look at this crap. Climb a mountain. 
well, a sharp hill. We'll call it that, a sharp hill. Isn't that nice? Look at that. See, what I'm getting at is I dislike snow because I had to shovel the damn stuff a lot. It, you know, and let me get down safely. Uh, if I didn't have to, I'd probably be okay with it because the cold itself doesn't bother me too much. Yes, it can obviously get cold enough to bother me. That's going to be true for anyone. Um... Uh, but man, you know, when you grow up used to it, you have a sort of a big, long nose like I've got here. That was by des evolutionary design for those of us whose ancestors spent time close to the poles as opposed to close to the equator. You know, it was actually necessary that the air that you breathe in was warmed up before it got in too close to sensitive organs like the brain and other things. And so... We have longer noses, so that it has more to pass through and warm up before it gets into places you wouldn't rather be even colder. So, yeah, no button nose on this one. Sniff, sniff. Ooh, but, you know, snow is nice to look at, except when it has been cleaned. Hello, the meese. Hello, the, the whatever I forgot what you're called that's not bison. Um, hello, the bonnie. I think I'm doing okay on food. Uh, anyways. When it's like this and you don't have to clean it, it's it's fine. It's not too hard to insulate against it. If you equip yourself properly, I can now make a fishing hut. That's cool. Whereas the opposite's not true or as true for the heat. I hate the heat. I am not made for heat. Frickin' Virginia where I am now. Oh my god. I have to hide like all summer long because it is intolerably humid and hot. And that's just not the case in Maine. You're like in Maine, in the summer, it, there might be a wolf. We have also something now called koi wolves, which seem to be a natural crossbreeding between wolves and coyotes, and they seem to be colonizing Maine. In fact, there was some debate whether or not they should be called koi wolves or the Maine wolf. Um, and I don't think Maine wolf will uh, won out that particular debate. But, anyways... All the snow removal required for our roads, if I can get to political for 35.213 seconds, um, <clears throat> you know... Our, our need for roads means need for road uh, cleaning in the winter. And that is a dirty, dirty, dirty process. And it's, all, it's hard on the roads themselves, which means we have to spend extra money rebuilding our roads all the time on top of cleaning them. And, and like one town's snow removal budget in Maine may be more than an entire southern state's snow removal budget. So there's that. It's, it's a, quite a burden. And it's just it's so dirty with the salt and the, the gravel and all that stuff. It just makes the winter very unappealing overall. But if it was like this, and all you had to do was trudge through it and maybe shovel a path, you know, for your chickens or whatever, I don't know. I could get behind it if it were like this. Oh, and you know what? There was a point to our coming here. Let us talk to the seamstress real quick. Do you? Welcome, stranger. Romance. Uh, Whatever you need, I've got oh, it. Oh, you know what? I probably can't afford anything she's got anyways. I can sell 20 chicories, though. Uh, I don't need any excessive feathers. I don't, I'm not going to eat that. Uh, why am I carrying a log around with me? A red mushroom. <laughs> How much if I sold all that? 91? I mean, I can make more. It's already 50% condition, too. Sticks and... St you know what? I shouldn't have sold those because I might have been able to sell the things I made from them instead. Uh, you know what? I think I need rot to make fertilizer or something like it anyways. So I wonder if I shouldn't let the meat just go. I mean, I'll eat some of it, obviously, but uh, if I already sold the sticks, I might as well sell the stones. Um, 219, and I need... Ugh. Negative heat protection. I don't want that. Felt hat. What am I wearing now? Cold. Yeah, but seven. Oh my god. Okay, 
let's let's price or sort accordingly here. Uh, bold. Simple shoes. Better heat protection than I've got now. That's something. Small pouch. Well, I could use more of that, but that's expensive. Straw hat. Wait. I don't have a straw hat now? I thought I had a straw hat. Did we not have a straw hat? I could have sworn we did. I was recording something where I was like, hey, how do you like my straw hat? Did it, like decay off of me or what shoes quaff uh, i've gone beyond my ability to afford so it's going to be one of these damn things better in the heat but not nothing in the cold this though is the same and it can't wait yeah what the heck oh it weighs more this oh yeah that weighs even more what am i hearing Something weird. Buy. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to wear it. It's only five, but... Have a good day. I seem to be doing okay for the moment anyways with these gloves, I think. All right. Inventoire. <laughs> I could have sworn I had a I damn well swear. All right. Let's see about these two questies. Let us see what y'all want from me. Where you is? Is this you right here? Thank Hello, you. Hello, friend. Hello. Could you help me with a problem? Sure, but what is the problem? Recently, these animals started to overpopulate and become a threat to the balance of the area. Can you be rid of them? Sure, I will hunt them down. Are we talking about animal overcrowding? Inventory? No, 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 no. Joy, no. What are we killing? Rabbits or deer? Neither of those. Ooh, a bow. And a stone axe and reputation, but no money. Dang it. All right, whatever. Let's see about this other person. Do things for them. Is that you? Is that you, Mildred? Hello there. No, that's not you. Is it you? Oh. Hello, stranger. Are you old enough to be giving me a quest? A little 10. Uh, can I? What is it? I want to play pretend with an old, but I don't have the required items. This should be easy. Promise not to do anything stupid. Okay. Just like Papa. Let's see what it is you're actually asking for. A hammer. All right, that's not so bad. All right, so we need just need to slay a few beasties and make a hammer. Oh, are you kidding me? That was ridiculous. Here I thought I was being clever, and one just walks right damn up to me. And there's another. Ah, oh, poor thing. I think a rabbit just fell to a predator of some kind. I'm hearing the woo-woo. And I'm seeing the woo-woo. This may not be wise, but... Oh, there's more than one. All right. Live and let live, I say. I mean, look at that. We got a rabbit right here anyway. And that rhymed. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. I'm making knives over here. Take the hint. I heard you. Yeah, yeah. You just back off, buddy. I don't want any trouble. Oh, there's another coney. Hello, little guy. How you doing? Oof. All right, never mind. <laughs> what was I just saying a minute ago about living and letting live? Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> All right, what can I make from this? Just one? Alright. Anything else while we're here? Oh, I can make several of these. Anything I can sell right now because I need to... I need money! Money, 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 money! So, 
have all of you gone over to my Twitch yet? Hmm? Come on. Go subscribe. Not subscribe. I can't because I'm not an affiliate yet because I am brand new and nobody knows I exist. Come over and follow me. Get me up that over that first hurdle to uh, uh, was it affiliate, I think, where people can subscribe and do things. Ha ha ha. Show me My your wares. wares. Never disappoint. Uh, are you sure about that, lady? Fur. Loge. Meat. Simple backpack. Stick. Stone. Oh, I should. Well, no, I'm doing all right on arrows here. Wooden hammer. Okay, I made two of those, but I need to keep one, and I don't need any of these. 134. I mean, I'm. See you soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you, people? Dump, 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 dump. Hold on. I've done what you asked for. Thank you. I can sell these too. And then there was another one. It was a kid. Unless it shrank, that one's too small. Uh, fine. I'll do it the hard way. Oh, no, just like so and so. Where are you, kid? This magic that I have that tells me exactly where people and things are is just fabulous. I do not understand the power, but it is real, apparently. You must first you promise me to watch out and you don't do anything dangerous. Yes, I promise. Very cool. Still not well. I suppose a kid wouldn't be loaded, would they? Alright, oh, right. So, I've done everything there is here to do, but there's two more in Gostovia. So how's about we head that way and see what else people might want from me, which is... Where's the exit? That's like the opposite direction of where I want to go. Wait. Come on, where's the exit? It's behind these bushes. Okay, see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, crap. Could you not? No trouble, I say. Come on. I've been saying it all day. Alright. Alright, that seems better. Alrighty, right. Oh, yeah. There's the valley. Oh, almost there. Hmm. <sighs> Let's hammer out for no good reason. Ah! Ah, oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to yell out for dumb things. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. The plots I made, I should check to see if any of them should be planted in the winter. They are paltry plots compared to these, but you know, it's a start for one person, right? Well, I'll get there. All right, let's see what this town has and wants. All righty, 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 right. All righty, righty, right. Come on, who are you? Are you Hubert? How do you do? Uh, okay. I guess. Can I help you? You look like a reliable fighter. Could you please help us? At night we hear horrible howls and can barely sleep. Would you please, I assume, get rid of these wolves? Yep. Okay. Sure. And then... And then... And then... How can I help you? Uh, per Perzibor. Perzibor? How do you say that? Can I help you? Crafting materials. Let us see about that. Uh, Night Huel? Uh, he needs stone seven. That's practically nothing. And then three wolves. All right. Let's 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 deal with both, technically. But I guess we just saw some. Or at least one. So let's, I guess, head back on up the hill. Yeah. Now, there were some up here. That might be one benefit. Ooh, is my frame rate going down? There might be some benefit to the winter or the snow, actually. The snow might make them stand out, assuming they weren't like white wolves or something. Some Gosh, that was kind of a threatening sound coming from <laughs> a rabbit. Hello, Bajor. 
But no, no, some beasties, you know, have different color coats. I don't think wolves do. Maybe they do. But I don't ever having recalled hearing of a winter wolf outside of fantasy setting. Oh, look at that beam of light coming through there. You have to appreciate the aesthetics. You have to. It's the law. If you don't do it, I'll be forced to arrest you. What am I seeing here? This looks interesting. Yeah, my frame rate. Something's up. Something's up with the frame rate. Maybe it's always been this way with the game. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we'll take them all. <laughs> I just woke up the cat. <laughs> and what have we got? I mean, I'm not weighed down yet, so I guess I'll take it. Now, dang it, Bobby, I know, I know, I know, I know there was a wolf here a minute ago. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and an axe, too. It's not a great axe. Oh, I'm still not weighed down. Okay. I mean, that's good news. I had to make something, though. Uh, not much to make. Firewood. But, I mean, that weighs about as much. I'll just leave it for now. Come on, wolves. I know you was here. You know what? While I'm at it, one, two, three, four, five. Get some extra doodads here. Uh oh, now I am overweight. I know. It's getting dark. Well, not. Yeah, I mean, technically it's getting dark. Dark. Ah, uh, come on, wolves. Did you really move on that quickly? I suppose that's what they do, isn't it? Oh, well. Oh well, oh well. It's strange to me that this world is so lavender. I mean, it doesn't normally happen, does it? Seems to be a pretty standard evening color around here. Oh. Wait, what are you? Yeah, you're a wolf. I hear you, but I don't s Yeah, I see you. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wasn't expecting to be able to finish, actually. Oh, man. All right, let's, let's give this a second. I need three, and I know there are now three in the vicinity. Oh, listen to that wind. Uh, that's awesome. How is it someone who likes the outdoors as much as I do is never outdoors? <gasps> nice, okay. The other one? Uh, there's one. Preoccupied with, uh, I presume, a coney. Bit far from my taste. I'm not that confident in my arrow lodging skills, but we can try. I can't tell. I hit it, I think. You would think it would notice an arrow. Oh, this one is mortal, I think. Yeah, I, I, I do apologize. I do. Yep, both arrows. At least I'm getting them back. Oh, and one more. Wait. Do they get the arrows? Okay. Another poor wolf. Oh, let's take care of the last one, I guess. I do feel bad. I know they're not real. I still feel bad. I mean, I understand. Like a, a shepherd's need to keep their flock safe from predators. I will not not support that. But I would think guard dogs would be enough. I mean, yes, they would get into tussles with the wolves occasionally. But for the most part, wolves are practical. They're not going... I'm going to actually... I. Th yeah, I think my... Yep, yeah, there it is, my village. I'll, I'll camp down there for the night since I'm slow. But I mean, generally, I don't think a wolf or really any animal is going to tussle with a creature... 
without need. Because in the wild, you get scratched up the wrong way, you get infected, you die. You slow down, something else gets you, you, you get a sepsis of some kind, you know, whatever. It's not worth it. I think animals on the average know that and will not fight unless they absolutely have to. And yes, sometimes that's for food. Sometimes that's for self-defense. Sometimes that's to protect your, your hidey hole where your cubs are. You know, a lot of people misinterpret, for example, uh, wild cats going around murdering things seemingly at random. But no, what they don't generally understand is there were kittens nearby so of some form or another. Um, or maybe it just wanted to eat the thing. But no, they, they can't afford to risk life and limb uh, unnecessarily. So given do guard dogs in the presence of humans, wolves are generally not going to very often, unless they're desperate, risk the flock. Or you know, risk the dogs, that is, for a flock. So my whole semi-political point being... I'm kind of against the way people keep going out there to cull predators with, uh, in the name of, you know, protecting people or livestock. Because in general, it's it's it was never that big a problem, and you created far, far, far more ecological problems than you uh, solved. You being whomever, I don't even know. All right, good enough. Uh, I'm gonna hit the sack. Thank you for watching. Come again next time. And like I said. Visit me on Twitch, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.